Hello, this is Rice No. Uh, recently, someone commented on my video and asked if it's possible to use a custom font in your game. And uh, yes, it's possible. So I decided to make uh, another quick tutorial. So let's start. I'm gonna use this sample program that I used uh, for my mouse listener tutorial and. Uh, yeah, so it's pretty simple program. So we made a window with JFrame, this one, and uh, then made a JPanel, and then made a JLabel, and so and uh, placed this JLabel on this JPanel, and so displayed this uh, Hello Traveler text. So this one, Hello Traveler. Hmm. So and uh, now we are using this font, Times New Roman, and uh, this is a uh, how to say this font is already built in Java, so you don't need to do any special things. So you just need to type like this font and uh, specify font name and the font size, font style. But uh, but if you want to use other fonts, which is not in Java, then you have to. So basically, you have to register your custom font to java then you can use it so okay the first thing to do is prepare font and you can choose whatever you want as long as it's a true type font so this time i'm gonna use this font it's a font called pixel m plus so as you can see it's a like 8-bit type font it's like a old NES or Game Boy kind of font. So it's pretty nice font and you can download this for free from here and uh, yeah I've already downloaded this and uh, there are two fonts uh, Pixel M plus 10 regular and the Pixel M plus 10 bold so and this time I'm gonna use this uh, regular one Just a moment. Okay, so this is uh, our project folder. So you drag this font to this project folder and the copy. And so, okay, so here, so pixel and plus 10 regular is inside of this project folder now. Okay, then first okay so we're gonna declare a font and uh, name this like uh yeah pixel m plus yeah and then we have to register this font so so we make uh, another try and catch formula here catch okay and uh Hmm. And inside of this catch, this time we type like this IO exception. And uh, font format exception E, not 3, E. Then inside of this try. Uh, okay, first pixel m plus equal font dot create font and uh, font font dot uh, true this one true type font comma and a new file and here so you need to type this file name here inside of this double quotations so pixel m plus 10 regular dot ttf make sure to type correct spelling incorrect spelling so 
I think it's not a good idea to use this complicated file name because if you misspell this uh, file name like this, M plus or whatever, then your code cannot find this file. And it, sometimes it makes it hard to find out the problem. So what is causing the error? So, but I'm going to try to use this official name this time. And, uh, and import this file. Okay, and then graphics environment. Am I spelling right? And g equal graphic environment dot get local yeah this one local graphics environment mm. and then uh, ge dot register font and font dot create font and inside of this round bracket font true type font new file and the same thing this one okay and uh, okay and uh, import this one yeah import io exception and uh, font format exception okay why i'm having this error yeah okay p p is a lower letter okay and uh, yep so i think uh, the font preparation is done and so now we should be able to use this pixel m plus so let's try this so currently we, we are using this normal font so times new roman so let's change this to pixel m plus yeah okay yeah let's check this what oh what why okay so nothing is displayed so this means i think uh, we are failing to load or register this font hmm. pixel m plus 10 regular dot ttf okay let me uh, copy this name Look same. Yeah, looks identical. Hmm. So what's the problem? Oh what? Oh my gosh. Look at this. Actually it is it is displayed, but I think it's too small to see. Can you see this? I think, uh, yeah, you can see something here. Okay, I think this is because the font is too small. Oh my gosh, okay. Yeah, so we need to increase the font size. Okay, and to do that, so you can type like this, dot, the live font and uh, 30f or something so this is basically font size so you can you can set the font size by typing like this dot the live font so now it should be okay i think so let's check it yeah okay finally so it is displayed in this pixel m plus so it looks really nice i think i like it mm. 
And so you can apply this to your own game pretty easily. So let's try to apply this to adventure. So adventure is yeah currently this uh, Times New Roman, and this looks uh, also nice. But uh, but let's try to change this font to pixel and plus, and uh, see how it looks like. Okay, so yeah, we just need to copy this and uh, maybe around here, the paste and also pixel and plus. Let's create this pixel and plus font and uh, pixel and plus. Yeah, and so preparation is done, and we just need to switch this normal font to this pixel and plus uh, this one and this one and this one this one this one this one and this one too this one too oops this one this one let me Normal font. Uh, okay. Okay, I think. Mm. I think that's it. So let's check this. Mm. Start. Mm. Mm. Retro. <laughs> but looks nice. I like it. What do you think? I think it, it looks pretty nice. Yeah, I like this. It looks pretty cool. Yeah. Mm, very old school. Very nice. Mm, yep. So anyway, that's how to use custom font. So I hope this is useful for you. And thank you very much for watching. And see you again. Bye.